Bruce Wolf and Dan Proft. Tomorrow night, a new season debuts of Check, Please. Yeah, Check, Please on uh, Channel 11 at 8 o'clock. We're joined in studio right now by the host, Catherine Diora. Hello. Thanks for coming in. Thanks Appreciate for having it. me. So, I think... This show's been on for like 45 years. Hasn't every restaurant in Chicago <laughs> been uh, visited and uh, reviewed? As For those of you who don't know, it's just ordinary me? people re reviewing their restaurants. Basically. It is. Um, and there's uh, never uh, an end to how many restaurants. I think maybe 45 has opened since I've just been here this morning. So, exactly. I mean, it's just been crazy. Uh, Chicago is just exploding with new restaurants. So, um yeah, so we're lucky enough to showcase 39 of them a year. And I note that you also get out into the suburbs. And yes. so one of the restaurants that's on the premiere show tomorrow is Aguas Calientes in Cicero. Yes, Which exactly. I've been to. Excellent Mexican food. Yes. But it's it's worth noting. It's not just Chicago. You're out into the suburbs Absolutely. As well. We're in the Chicagoland area. So we'll go. I mean, I was in Homewood, um, Flossmore. Um, Cicero, Berwyn, you know, it's all not the twin just cities. Downtown. Home and Foster, Foster. <laughs> yeah, yeah, exactly. There we go. So, and, and the, these restaurants are they usually upscale, like the finest restaurants, or you know, what kind of price range are we talking you about? You know, here? it ranges. We have done everything from you know the taco stand where you can get a taco for two bucks, all the way to fine dining where you're going to get a tasting menu two hundred dollars and up. So, it really spans. You know, I mean, the thing is, it's about the restaurants that the people in our city love and so that can really be be anything and and uh, how do people like audition to get on the show and pick their restaurant how do you choose the people in the restaurant because I know Bruce would like to be on the show so that uh, he can have everyone go to Baker Square <laughs> well, on uh, Wednesday the pie <laughs> rush is pie. <laughs> it's, it's very so good. something yeah, to consider I, yeah. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. exactly we'll keep an eye for it well my I genius a producer I, no, I think it was an appropriate yeah. amount. Yeah, yeah, you're right. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, just the right amount. Just a, a little yeah, sprinkle. A dollop. A teaspoon. Yeah, of kind yes, of there we go. Yes, yes. So how do they get it? Well, um, luckily for me, uh, my genius producer uh, has taken me out of that equation. So okay. um, he actually chooses with Jackie, our senior producer. It's David and Jackie. And... Um, people apply. You go online to wttw.com backslash check please and you can apply. There's a, a little a tab that says be on the show and uh, and then you're going to fill out an application. Just kind of tell us what your favorite restaurants are um, and then they ask a series of questions so that we can kind of get a feel for people. You know, are, the, are you the person that only goes into your little like two mile radius from your house or are you kind of a gastro explorer and you're gonna go you know everywhere and so it'll ask what's your favorite diner what's your favorite Italian what's your favorite Eastern European restaurant so we get a sense and then um, and you know and then Jackie and David kind of see hey you know this sounds interesting we've never heard of this place you know we think this would be great to showcase and then they check it out and do people um, have to be descriptive I mean it's hard to describe food you know it's good oh it's tasty you know it's it's like you know doing movie reviews oh the acting was textured I don't know what that means <laughs> right. <laughs> Do they use, how, how can you describe food? You know, I mean, on the show or when you're actually applying? Either way. Well, you know, I think one of the things is the beauty of Check Please is it's not just about the food. You know, it's about the restaurant. It's Experience. about the crowd you're going to yeah. see there. It's about, you know, the way the restaurant looks, the vibe there. You know, what the neighborhood's like. I mean, is it a neighborhood that maybe it's a destination? You know, there's, there's you can go to the theater and then go and, you know, eat. And then there's also all these great cocktail lounges to go to afterwards. So, you know, I think the beauty of Check Please is it's not just the food. And obviously food plays a huge part in, in the show. It never is just the food. And, 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 and by the way, you can describe everything because that's how you got your start as a food blogger, right? Exactly. Well, food writer, exactly. Food writer, yes. excuse me. Mm -hmm. Yes. So there is so, the possibility to describe the experience in absolutely. ways that uh, other well, humanoids ever, can relate to. You never prompt anybody in any way, you know, by saying, you know, here's a verb that you can use. <laughs> or, uh, you know, you need a little parsley on the side and a little verb as uh, your main course. Right. Uh, use the phrase amazing sparingly. So that's something <laughs> that actually could be amazing. Actually, the reason I was asking about, mm -hmm. uh, you know, the range, and you talk about tacos as well, because... Fast food places right now, you know, like you go online for McDonald's, it's costing you practically as much as it does at some of these sit-down places. So, you know, you're kind of blurring the distinctions uh, there. I mean, if for a couple, you know, buck or two more, you can go in line at Chipotle as opposed to you know, right. be in line for a Big Mac and fries. 
Well, absolutely. I mean, I think that a lot of restaurants have kind of turned shifting towards a more casual feel and also this ability to be able to have some smaller plates and not have to go and sit down for obviously one, a tasting menu, or two, that appetizer, entree, uh, dessert that we've kind of come to know as a traditional, um, you know, westernized style of eating in America, I guess. And um, so now you can have these small plates. And so because of that, you can actually get this great restaurant food by some of the top chefs in the world. I mean, Chicago truly is, not because I'm the host of a dining show here, but truly is a premier dining city in the world. What, what, what about some of these phenomena that I, I don't understand? I don't know if you do specialty places, but like the lines around the block for cupcake joints. Yeah, I don't. Know, I don't understand. Yeah, I, it's funny you, you say that because this is a conversation I have often. Is you know, is that just the FOMO? Is it just the fear of missing out? Because right. you know, this is the place to be, and I have to say I've been there. And so I think there's definitely some of that, but I mean, I think why not? You know, if it's an experience, it's an experience. You can kind of decide for yourself. I don't know is if I a, would wait for two hours is, for a cupcake. So it's okay to look down on those people. Is what you're saying. No, <laughs> no, but they're gosh. like, is, oh. is, this, I, oh. is this like an import from New York? Because a few years ago, I was visiting my son in New York and we were, you know, in Manhattan and you go waiting in line for a cupcake. Well, no, but it's, you know, a store about as narrow, you know, as anything you walk in and you buy a cupcake or, or, you know, like, uh, a, a slice of a cake or something like that for, for right. three bucks and then walk out. I, it, or Garrett's it, popcorn. Well, Garrett's phenomenon. popcorn, I, I understand right. that, but, you know, a cupcake. Well, yeah. you know, I think it's... Um, in New York, Magnolia Bakery was kind of the first to do okay. it, and they opened, and it had... Muffin top. Sure. Yeah, yeah, well, they sure. had these old-fashioned... It was kind of this throwback. It was before vintage became what it is, before craft cocktails became... Where everyone was kind of looking to the past to kind of bring that forward, before vintage dressing was mainstream. Now all that's mainstream. So they did this really cozy, homey, old-school bakery that you would have expected to go to with your grandma. And, you know, people really liked that and embraced that. And, you know, once something's hot, everybody is going to jump on that. Right, so. huh? How many people wanted to just go to Italy? I mean, did you have a lot of that problem? <laughs> oh. Everybody just wants to go to Italy. Everybody. All three people said we want to go to Italy. Yeah, it's a all different section. Italy. All right, get to, get the next roster in. Exactly. All right, check please begins. Uh, it's new season tomorrow night, eight o'clock no. on Channel Friday. Eleven. Captain Diorio. No, Friday, 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 not tomorrow. Oh, I'm sorry. Today's only today, Wednesday. If today is Wednesday. Tomorrow must be Thursday. That's right. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, it must be Belgium. Waffles, I guess. Thank you, Captain Diorio. <laughs> on Friday.